In today's Madden 21 tip video, I want to be breaking down a route concept that you can use that is going to absolutely destroy man-to-man -man coverage over the top in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to basically try to help you get better in Madden 21 by covering four to five videos a day here that will give you some type of tangible tip, strategy, or tactic that you can apply to your game to help you get better and win more games in Madden 21. So if that's something that interests you, I want to encourage you to join our community here by clicking that subscribe button. And then right to the right side of that, there's a little notification icon, bell icon that you can click that will allow you to stay notified and updated of whenever we post a new video. Because sometimes you miss it, uh, sometimes just because of how much content is put onto YouTube. Sometimes you don't always know when we release a new video. And we release four videos a day here on the channel. So don't want you to miss it. Don't want you to get lost with anything. If you have any questions, you can always text me. My cell phone number is in the top left, 812-216-3644. All right, so cover two, man. We are in the Washington Redskins offensive playbook. I haven't covered this play yet. I've been waiting, and I don't know. I should have covered this sooner, but I wanted to make sure this works. So basically, what you want to do is you want to put your fastest or your best wide receiver uh, in this left slot on the empty base flex from the Washington Redskins playbook. I have Amari Cooper there. He also has Slotomatic, which is an added bonus, but the play is middle high low this is a really really good play um especially against like press man coverage or you know really anything honestly but if they're running if they're running man-to-man -man coverage in some way this is going to be very very effective for you and what i like to do personally is i like to take ezekiel elliott and i like to personally just put him on a streak and then i'll motion him in and snap the ball right when he gets into the slot position what this is going to do is it's going to basically change the nature of everything. But this route on the left side is going to absolutely torch uh, the cover two man as long as I man line and press. Now, again, most defenses that you face are going to do that. If they don't man line and press, it's going to look something like this right here. Um, this is not. This doesn't look like man to man, but it is man to man. What you'll see is this is going to kill cover two man. As you see, Mark Cooper is going to beat him to the sideline, and get over the top. Well, what's going to happen is you're going to see that they are going to start pressing it because they're going to think, well, if we get a jam on Amari Cooper, that's going to take everything away. But once they start pressing, that's where I like to motion Zeke in. And you'll see here, you see how the defense is going to have to adjust. And I think I do have it set to baseline. So we'll man line and press here because this is more accurately what you're going to get, especially against heavy cover two defenses. Well, what's going to happen is he's going to instantly beat the press on the outside because he's your best receiver. And you see here, he's going to, you can click on and use or catch him. What I like about it is what you'll notice is Slotomatic this year is a little bit of a glitchy ability. They get. Um, Slotomatic, in my opinion, is a little bit better than Route Apprentice or Route Technician because what happens is the wide receiver Slotomatic lights up all the time. Basically, if he's in the slot, uh, this thing is going to light up. And what you'll see here, he's going to get out over the top, and that Slotomatic ability is going to help him with some catching and some route ability to be able to get off that jam. So if you have a Slotomatic uh, wide receiver, you want to put him here. And again, I don't have to motion Zeke in. I don't have to motion him in whatsoever. You'll see here, this is Mandelon and Press, same exact look, and watch Mark Cooper might even get better separation without Zeke pressed in. But the reason, and that right there is why I do it. Be the reason I motion Zeke in is because if I don't motion him in, what you're going to find is, and, and it doesn't even matter if it's Zeke, you can motion Schultz right across formation, right? Put him on a streak. If you don't have a vertical to basically hold the deep half zone, then this is going to be a little bit trickier to fit in against that cover two man. Because I'm pass leading that to the left, and you see if the Packers have really, really good safeties, and they're able to get there because of their speed. In Mutt, the same thing is going to be true. What I do want to show you, though, is everyone's favorite defense, where they shade over top and purple. Now, if you have a good enough receiver, um, a good enough receiver, it's basically a miss. It's basically a speed situation. But once he gets over the top, you see here, he can kind of get over the top of that. He doesn't always get over the top of that. Now, again, if they take the safety away, let me just show you this real quick just so we're clear. If they take the safety away and they don't shade coverage outside and shade coverage over top, it's an instant one-play touchdown. Instant one-play touchdown. As you see here, I mean, it's not even close. You're going to beat man by a good 5 to 10 yards every single time because of the way that that route gets the separation. However, if they shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, and then they drop these purples, what you're going to see is Amari Cooper's going to be a little bit 
more challenged to be able to beat this coverage. So um, one of the things that I like to do is if you can get him, once he's even, he's leaving. So once he gets over the top, there's a lob ball right there. But again, you know, depending on your quarterback, you might not be able to get the ball out there. Dak does okay. Um, what I have found with this, though, is you that's why you want to put your best receiver there because in those situations, maybe if you guess wrong and they're running shade coverage over top, then, number one, you can always check down to Zeke. I do want you to see that. But here you see press coverage. If they press, it's it's gone. I mean, it's 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 GG's in the chat. I mean, you're you're roasting it. But if they don't, if they shade coverage outside and over top, which is what I would recommend doing, um, if you're going to run man and you're going to take the safeties away, that's what I would recommend doing. But what you're going to see is you're going to then open up a lot of things. This hitch route to Zeke Elliott, you can low ball and pass lead inside, and you can see that that is going to be wide open against shade coverage over top man to man. It's going to force them to start doing that because the thing is, even if they put a safety, even if they have a safety over there on a deep blue, if you this this thing typically, and that wasn't press coverage that was shaded, but this thing will typically kill. Uh, press coverage. Uh, you got a lot of people that are running bench press and all that stuff. This thing typically will literally destroy it. Um, you see Savage is making some plays just because he's got that high speed. What I would recommend doing, if you hard pass it to the hard pass lead to the left, right when he gets that win animation, hard pass lead to the left, you see right there, I'm able to click on him, even get it in against that cover to man. A really, really good dot against man to man. Last thing I want to show you here on this is these routes on the right side will typically beat uh, the man covers the inside. So you see this route to CD Lamb, uh, this deep, deep post route. There's two ways you can run this route. The first way is you can just run it stock. The second way that you can run it is if you smart route it, you see how it turns into essentially a slant route almost, an, an angled slant. That is also going to beat man to man to the inside. CD Lamb is going to be able to beat it. So now what you're going to have is you're going to have two to three routes that are going to kill man to man. Uh, and really, if you leave the, sh I like to leave Gallup on his fade um, just because I feel like it gets better. Um, it just forces them to keep the safety over top and it forces them to shade. Now, if they shade, you see here, I can click on the CD land and easily user catch that route all day long. And then last but not least, I did want to show you if they shade over top, this is only if they shade over top, but if they shade over top, Schultz's route right in here, you can playmaker him either which way you want, and you can check down to him very easily. I love that route against man-to-man -man this year. But when you combine all of this together, what you're going to find is this is probably one of the best man beaters in the game. And you see here, I can even motion snap. Like if I want to motion snap uh, CD Lamb to the left, I can bring him in motion. You see he's going to absolutely torch man. You know, I could do that as well if I want to. The reason I don't recommend doing that is it's not a great look uh, against zone in my opinion. But if they if they run the press coverage uh, out of that cover two man, you're going to see CD Lamb's going to get um, over the top there. But they do play that a little bit better if they're in press coverage. But again, if they're in press coverage, they have to have safeties over top. And if they don't have safeties over top, even if they do have safeties over top and they're pressing out of this, what you're going to find is you're typically going to be able to uh, hit one of these uh, one of these receivers on these. Um, on these deep routes and if they are pressing then you can take Schultz here uh, and just throw him on a simple slant route and what you'll see here is against the slant he'll typically beat man-to-man -man as well so it's just a really solid play I wanted to talk about this I haven't talked about this route specifically yet on my channel but a very very good play from the Washington Redskins offensive playbook if you guys haven't yet be sure to join my channel discord uh, my community discord it's uh, in the description there's a link to it that you can accept the invite but basically discord is a great place where you can connect with other Madden players learn from them share your ideas get new lab partners it's really helped me get better at the game, and I know it'll help you get better at the game as well. So be sure to join Discord, and if you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Check out some of these videos that are going to come up on the screen, including the best offense in Madden 21. Uh, that is getting an update this weekend, so be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in our next video coming up here in a couple hours.